Practice guidelines are important to physicians because there's a huge amount of information we need to assimilate to care for our patients. Practice guidelines help us put that all together to reduce unnecessary variation and optimize patient care. Well, I use clinical guidelines because I want to provide the highest quality care for my patients. And if you use clinical guidelines, you will. Yeah, the AUA's clinical guidelines are designed to help urologists treat the most common and or controversial things we take care of. So the AUA tries to solicit input from members as to what the topics should be and make sure these topics are relevant for the members. You can also use the guidelines for the basis of building workflows and electronic medical records to help you better implement the guidelines. In the AUA clinical guidelines, there's a lot of emphasis on options for patients so that there isn't only ever one treatment, it's typically there's an array of treatments and it's a way to help the clinician and the patient together decide what's best for that patient. Looking in terms of aeronautical terminology, we went from the propeller planes to the jet planes. The importance of guidelines in the whole quality movement really is that uh, guidelines really are the foundation of this. And what I mean by that is the guidelines process takes all of the uh, literature, the data from the literature, and in a very thorough fashion uh, summarizes that and uh, determines the levels of evidence for areas for which evidence exists. Simply put, the AUA's nine-step process uh, is, is a series of steps that lead to an evidence-based guideline. You have nomination of the topic, you have review of the literature, you have an expert panel getting together and deciding what can be recommended and what can't. You have peer review, then you have approval by our board of directors. And most importantly, you have regular reviews of the evidence so the guidelines are timely. The AUA clinical guidelines are reviewed and updated every 12 to 18 months, and then after review decided whether that guideline is current or whether it needs to be updated. ECRI Institute actually manages the National Guidelines Clearinghouse for the federal government, specifically the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. So they are a premier organization to evaluate guideline programs. We found strengths at every stage of the guideline development process, um, starting with topic selection, um, AUA follows, whenever possible, criteria developed by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality to select for priority conditions that are deemed of um, utmost importance. The AUA's clinical guidelines are unique because they have to be evidence-based. A lot of other organizations and societies will use expert opinion. The AUA have, has taken their game to a whole other level. And by creating evidence-based guidelines, we're really creating the highest quality documents out there and ensuring that urologic care is top-notch. I use guidelines from the AUA because I want to give the best care to my patients. Although I do primarily female urology, I also see general urology patients, and there's no possible way that I can keep up on the literature. And going to guidelines is a way to help ensure that I'm doing the right thing. The only agenda of the AUA guidelines is to produce a document that helps you in your day-to-day -day management of your patient using the best scientific literature. Everyone should strive to improve their quality of care and taking care of our urologic patients. I know I can trust the AUA's guidelines. <laughs>